everyone associates spring with tornado season on the classic Great Plains, April, May, and June. However, what if I told you that tornado season really never ends? In fact, autumn can be just as conducive for major tornado setups on the Great Plains. Well, it's true, and today we're gonna take a look at some of my most memorable chases from these months. You ready? Let's get started. Now the first day I'm gonna take a look at is October 12, 2012. A lot of 12s in that. We're in the Texas South Plains, Texas Panhandle. We're really where they meet. We're setting east of Lubbock and we were waiting and waiting and wait. This day was taking forever. There was a dry line out west in New Mexico. There was a bit of an outflow boundary draped across the central panhandles. And of course, the upper level support, that really good wind shear was lagging behind. So it was taking a long time to get storms going on this day. But they finally erupted in the evening hours. There's some rotation right in the middle of that. There yeah, is. Rotation. There's rotation in there. This storm really began to wrap up as it crossed I-27 and it produced the like absolute weakest tornado of all time. I don't know if that's true or not, but it was very weak, but still pretty cool. Just near Abernathy, Texas over open lands. This is the, this is the epitome of like an EFU, EF0 tornado. Like, look at this thing. Oh, it's still, it's still on the ground. We're in good shape right here for a little while. I think that uh, the magic of this day, though, was what happened at the very end. As this supercell raced off away from us, we let it go because tornado threat had obviously ended as sunset approached. Look at that. That's really cool. Love this scene so much. If you like this video, we, we, we do this stuff all the time. You should subscribe, hit that subscribe button. Let's go back to some fall storm chasing. Now, another thing that happens in the autumn period is those beautiful late sunsets of May and June go away. And what comes next is earlier sunsets and night chasing. This day is one I'm gonna remember for the rest of my life to be sure because this day was the night of the twisters in the Texas Panhandle. There is just nothing at all. Large tornado on the ground to our north. So we're watching this initial storm produce a tornado just to our north. Incredible. But what we were not counting on, we didn't realize there was another storm to our west that was producing a tornado and when that power flash hit and we saw a large tornado to our west and it was gonna pass very near us. That was, a, that was an interesting feeling. There it is, a dusty bullet right on the road. Oh wow, you can see it moving through the wind farm. Do you see that? Look at that. Now, the big moment was when this tornado, this wedge tornado was approaching Pampa, Texas. Honestly, this was where that feeling in your chest starts because I love seeing storms. I love seeing tornadoes. I hate seeing tornadoes in towns. That's a horrible combination. I don't, no one loves that. And this thing was gonna pass very near Pampa. this tornado was done, that was it for the day. There was not much else left to be said. The storm moved off, we went home, we had seen a lot of tornadoes and what was a very historic tornado outbreak in the Texas Panhandle. This last day, I'm just gonna say it, probably it's, it's up there in terms of just some of my, it's one of my favorite chase days ever. M much less like autumn, it's just, 
was a really big time storm chase day. Started this day in Southwest Oklahoma. Everything was there, wind shear, instability. It was all lined up, big time dry line. We were ready to chase on this day to be sure. And what we saw was first off storms that didn't look so great, but crossing the Red River was this monster supercell. We knew we had to get there. This maneuver that we pull here is called a hook slice. It's basically where you pass through the hook into what is almost certainly a tornado. We had this pretty well tracked because it was so close to the radar. We felt very confident about where we were in relation to this storm. However, it was still very nervous. This is something that I do not recommend anybody do unless you absolutely know what you're doing. This is not a move for beginners, not even a move for intermediate folks. This is something you do after you've seen a lot of tornadoes and you know, and you have a very good grasp on things. It's even if that, okay, not the smartest move, but as we get merged through the hook, through the rain, huge tornado. Okay, go, 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 go. Uh, not yet, not yet. And go now. Slowly. slowly, 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 slowly. Big tornado, big tornado, big tornado. Oh my word! Shh. Okay, okay, okay. Um, Find me a road. Half a mile goes. Any, any road goes north off this. You're yeah. alright. Um, Watching this tornado rope out against that blue sky was uh, something that I will never forget. This was just an incredible moment. But then. We, we kind of expected this, but produce another tornado to the east. And that one was pretty cool. But then it was just like on and on and on, tornado after tornado, big tornado after big tornado. This storm was going. Whew. The thing you have to know about strong wind shear is that it usually almost always means fast storm motions. And this day was no exception. It was really hard to keep up with this storm. We did, but we did end up with some less than ideal shots at times because of the fast storm motions. However, this was a day that's gonna rank in my top five for pretty much for a while. So at the end of the day, there's two things to take away from this video. First one, chase season never ends, just sleeps. Second thing, just as important, in my opinion at least, is that you should always have a source of weather information on hand. Never sleep on the possibility of severe weather. It could happen any month of the calendar year. I've chased storms and tornadoes every month of the calendar year. And hey, if you're watching this video, you probably already know that because you're interested in weather. Remember, weather's for everybody. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Also, check out this playlist popping up right now, 2025 Storm Chases. We're rolling out those videos as we speak. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.